Mama, happy birthday. <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> happy birthday, Mother Jefferson. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Aren't you gonna get dressed for my party? <laughs> I am dressed. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are such a great kidder. <laughs> George, just don't stand there. Help your mother off with her cake. Oh, Mother Jefferson, I love what you're wearing. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. <laughs> you always did have such marvelous taste. Louise, you're just trying to make a middle-aged lady feel good. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I've never seen you look more attractive. As a matter well, of... Well, Mom, I told you, oh, George, don't interrupt, Louise. What were you saying, dear? <laughs> I hope this will be the happiest birthday you've ever had. That's so sweet. Louise, you're supposed to be nice. Let's not get sickening. <laughs> I've got something to say. You didn't tell him, did you? Oh, you know me, Mother Jefferson. Yeah, that's why I asked. <laughs> well, George, about two weeks ago, I met the nicest man named Herbert Russell. Hey, that's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And we've been seeing a lot of each other. We've gone to church, we played bingo, and we even took a ride on the Staten Island Ferry. Oh, that's great. I always said you was a fox. <laughs> we have so much fun together. Uh, he didn't try to get fresh with you, has he? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, he's a perfect gentleman. And he's asked me to marry him. Say what? <laughs> and George, Herbert wants your mother to move to Florida with him. Isn't that great? No, it ain't. <laughs> what do you really know about this guy anyway? Well, he has a wonderful sense of humor. So does Rodney Allen Rippy. I wouldn't want you to marry him. <laughs> she could do worse. Now, this ain't funny now, Wheezy. We are talking about a dude that she's only known for two weeks, and that's way too soon to be talking about somebody's marriage. Your mother is old enough to know what's best for her. I'm old enough to know what's best for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need no old man hanging around the house. He's not old. He's a young man about my age. <laughs> Does he know about me? Oh, yes, I've told him all about you. Then there's your answer. That guy's out to get my money. He's going through you to get to me. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't have to buy love. All it took was one flutter of my eyelashes. <laughs> you are Louise. Oh, thanks, Helen. Oh, happy birthday, Mrs. Jefferson. And congratulations. Have you set the date for the wedding yet? I'll tell you the date. The day my mother marries is the day your husband changes to the right color. George! <laughs> oh, oh, it's all right, Louise. It's a free country. Even for jackasses. Let me ask you something, Helen. Mm -hmm. Do you see any reason why I shouldn't get married? What are you asking her for? She ain't family. She will be when Lionel marries Jenny. That's another fight. Let's finish this one first. <laughs> I'll finish it for you. I'll do just what I want. Hmm, that's telling him. Why don't you go home? I'm going. That's always the nicest part about meeting you, saying goodbye. <laughs> now you listen to me, Mama. I'm not gonna let you marry this guy. Why should I listen to you? You didn't listen to me when I told you not to marry Louise. <laughs> hey, I'm on your side. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Now see what you made me do. You made me say something mean about Louise. But Mama, see what I'm talking about. Take my hands off. Uh, wait, Mother Jefferson. George I'm... didn't mean what he said. I'm sorry, Louise. I'm going. George, I used to die for you when you were a baby. You were a mess then, and you're still a mess. <laughs>